whip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. All right, 7 after the hour, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Gary got the tea and the clue of the day. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful post-Mother's Day day. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Last night on Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, honey. Oh, my God, Ricky, if y'all didn't watch it, it was just, I was so nerved up, honey, I almost had to take a value, honey. Now, between NeNe and our very own Eva, it was just, it was just too much. I'm like... What? Eva did. What was the deal? I mean, you were trying to explain about you know your runway days or what have you, and Nene, honey, told you, look, nobody don't care about your runway days. That's been fifteen years ago, honey. And then you called this girl old, honey, and then y'all started cursing and carrying on. Miss Andy had to um, mute y'all. What was the problem? <laughs> oh Jesus. Lord! For some uh, reason, this reunion, like literally, it started at eight a.m. and Portia and Nene came out literally guns blazing, like. What? I don't even like understand you. what the issue was. I still don't get it to this day. But uh, you know, if they feel like I'm a gun, threat, I'm gun gonna blazing at right. each other or, or both no, gun blazing at, at everybody you. else, particularly me and Kenya. I didn't know that Portia and Kenya didn't get along. I didn't know that me and Portia didn't get along, for that matter. Um, and Nene, her issues with me started after the season on social media, which I don't engage in. So. My first time even responding to all her rants on social media was at the reunion. It was crazy, Ricky. Mm. Sure was, but you told this girl she was only on one magazine, honey. I mean, that was <laughs> offensive. This girl, like, had, what, what was she uh, on the cover? Right on or something? She was on the cover? I don't remember. Uh, uh, rolling Out, I think that was. Oh, was rolling, rolling Out or Hype Hair or something like that. But, you know, with all of this going on with Corona, with the deaths of uh, our legends this past weekend, I think it, it, it kind of put everything in perspective and showed how unnecessary a lot of these issues are. Yeah, I guess. But what I was offended about, I wish y'all would cover, close y'all blouses. I don't want to see all y'all breasts. Everybody had their breasts out. I'm like, you know, is that they the like thing? the tatas? I guess. I, mean, I was oh, just so like, you might not was... like them, Gary, but a lot of other people like. Them. Oh, Ricky, you like that mess? <laughs> all of them. Every last, every last <laughs> you know one of them. Ricky like it. Every <laughs> last damn that one of them. That is a man's man. I yes, guess uh, it was just too much. I'm like, girl, me and Miss Oh, look at him. I be having the volume all the way down. I don't y'all this. Exactly. <laughs> but I can't say we did make history, Ricky, because that was the first ever virtual reunion ever. Yes. Oh, got- wait a minute. Oh, y'all. It was virtual, Rick. Yeah. So we were all at home on our couches acting like we were sitting next to everybody else on the couch. Yeah. Oh, no wonder they came with gun blazers. They was comfortable. Exactly. They, they all was having a cocktail. Everybody said. was drinking, honey. I'm like, my God, does everybody have a cocktail? Not everybody was drinking at, well, some of us were drinking at regular hours. Some people started drinking at 8 a.m. Oh, Jesus. Well, it was just so much. Next week going to even be a more mess, but it was just it was just so much going on. Honey. Kenya, you, Portia, uh, um, uh, Nene, Candy. I mean, it was very interesting, though, but it was very nerve-wracking. But we're going to follow this and see how this all turned out, child, because it, it, I don't know. They got my nerves oh, yeah. bad, Gary. Yeah. I know your nerves bad. My nerves was shot, honey. So I'm like, okay, girl, I got nothing else to watch. So I don't really watch um, Unsung, so I was catching y'all. All right, moving on. Another celebrity news, y'all. Vanessa Bryant, y'all, the beautiful. <laughs> wife of Kobe Bryant, they're saying she may be filing a multi-billion dollar lawsuit against the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Now, they're saying yeah, that the Sheriff's Department allegedly yeah, shared photos of the helicopter crash that killed her husband, Kobe, and their 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. Yeah. Now, they're saying yeah, the claim stated that the deputies who allegedly yeah, shared the photos are liable for negligence, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and invasion of her privacy. Now, they're saying in reality, however, there are no fewer, there were no more than eight sheriff deputies at the scene snapping cell photos of the dead children, parents, and coaches. Now, they say as the department would later admit, y'all listen to this, the department admitted, y'all, that there was no investigative purpose for those deputies honey, to take pictures at that crash site. Ooh. Rather, the deputies, y'all, took photos for their personal own belong- selves. So, Vanessa Brown, she already won our resident. then. Yeah. Cause they admitted, yeah. honey, that they were, were supposed to be using these pictures or taking these pictures or whatever. Mm. Now they're saying mm. she she was distressed to learn that the department did not initially uh, you know form an investigation until the L.A. Times broke the story. So we're gonna follow this story, honey, and see how it turns out. Though, but I take everybody got a camera like you used to say, Ricky and honey, they using them yeah. too. So so they it's using crazy. The yeah. So Gary, do you watch Below Deck? 
You know, I never watched Below Deck. I, I, I love that know. show. I don't it's like good. that. I don't like nothing Below Deck, honey. So no. Uh, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, wow. the color of the day, honey, what my favorite color. My color of the day is Little Boy Blue. <laughs> on a high, you say Little Boy Blue. And on a low, just say Beautiful Sky. That's your color for the day. <laughs> All right, there it is. Y'all give it up for Gary with the tea. Hard. All right, man. More Rick's Mountain Morning Show coming up next.